get to that closing time frame, and that's the open question. We hear about all of those lines around the counties and the different voter service centers, but for now, this, here's the counting area behind me. It's actually relatively quiet. Now, part of this is structural. We've changed to the all-mail system where any of the more than 300,000 ballots that have been received already as of the last night, they're already ready for counting. They have not been tabulated yet, but they've been processed. They're ready. They'll hit a button at, at hopefully around or after 7 p.m. That'll give us that first printout. Let's look at some of the numbers of what we might expect to happen. I'll take you to a little bit of our analysis here on our handy charts. So we know, we've talked to all of the county clerks across the state, and we get answers from each one of them. How many people have voted? And we know directly from all of the clerks that as of last night, Nearly 330,000 people had, or 328,170 to be exact. You can see here I've, I've created a turnout chart for you so you can get a sense of how many that is out of each county. Big Island, they're always good voters over there. Good turnout so far. Honolulu about pacing with the rest of the state. Kauai is, is under 30%. And here's the interesting one Maui was coming in on, at only about 31% of their voters having voted as of last night. And that's well behind the pace of the state. And Maui isn't usually like that. They're usually about on par with what the statewide turnout is. What does that tell us? Well, we can tell from when we saw those lines in Christy Tomashiro's report, there are a lot of day of voters. Uh, we, uh, we know from the clerks that about 859 people voted in person in all of the days and weeks ahead of Election Day. And from the looks of her video, it looked like there were that many or more just waiting in the line at Wailuku. So it, it does appear that on Maui, where we know there's the competitive mayor's race, big and consequential uh, council races, uh, we can expect to see a lot more numbers appear there. Will they also be the island uh, for which we wait through the 7 p.m. Uh, time slot for the posting like we did the last time? Very possibly. Whoever is in line as of 7 p.m., of course, will still have a chance to vote or they can stick their ballots in the drop box, as we were being told. What will be in the first printout? Well, it will be all of these uh, folks who have voted by mail or drop box all the way up through last night. That will be in the first printout. Uh, the voter service centers, though, and that's about 6,600 people as of last night statewide. Those are going to hold off into the second printout. It's not a big number. Um, we should still get a pretty good representation of the general direction of races in the first printout. When we compare it to the primary, it ended up being the primary uh, first printout was about 85% of votes cast at the, at the end of the day. We'll get a pretty good sense of where things are going from there. Bridget and Howard will send it back to you.